How's it going, Savage Life family? Today we're gonna try to debunk this whole 51% attack misconception, the bad name that Ethereum Classic has, and with all of these less knowledgeable folks talking about how Ethereum Classic is a bad investment, a dead chain, because of this so-called 51% attack, but they don't really know the story behind it, what it is. So we're gonna break it down in this video and give you guys a rough explanation about everything. So I'm currently holding my position looking like a great day for Ethereum Classic consolidating very well. Now, a 51% attack happens when a single cryptocurrency miner or a group of miners, in the case of Ethereum Classic, it was a group of miners, gains control of more than 50% of a network's blockchain. Now, this is going to happen with every proof of work crypto. It could happen with Bitcoin. It could happen with Ethereum Classic. It could happen with Litecoin. But it depends on the hashing network, how strong the network is. Now, hardware and costs are required to carry one out, and it does get quite pricey depending on how strong the network is and how high the market capitalization is. Now, when a cryptocurrency transaction takes place, newly mined blocks must be validated by a consensus of nodes which is the miner's computer attached to the network once this validation occurs the block can be added to the chain and that is considered one confirmation now when hackers take 51 percent control of a network they could go ahead and do five things exclude network transactions from ever being recorded modify the ordering of transactions prevent transactions from being validated or confirmed that's why when you send a, a transaction and it'll say unconfirmed then they can stop that from happening they can block other miners from mining coins or tokens within the network shut down their rig and reverse transactions to double spend coins now in the case of ethereum classic it was a double spending issue now the culprits behind the recent 51 percent attacks on Ethereum Classic used rented mining hash power to carry off their heist, exploiting a vulnerability common to cryptocurrencies that rely on proof of work as their underlying consensus mechanism. Now, they rented mining hash power, and of course I'm not gonna show you where to get that rental and how to get it done, but pretty much they rented hashing power in order to gain control of 51% of all of these attacks that they did on ethereum classic now hash markets can be used to obtain large amounts of hash power in order to perform various attacks that require high hash rate against some altcoins but of course at the cost of a lot of money so it's pretty much a whole universal problem and the bigger the blockchain the more expensive it is to do a 51 percent attack now for an example Back in September of 2019, when Bitcoin was at this $10,000 price point, it would have took $513,000 an hour to perform a 51% attack on Bitcoin, but only $3,800 an hour to perform a 51% attack on Ethereum Classic, and that's because Ethereum Classic was here at this $5 price point, they didn't have those upgrades to defend against it at the time because of the low funding that Ethereum Classic was receiving, of course. Now, without any upgrades at this current price point that we're seeing, $52, and Bitcoin at its $30,000 price point, it would take $38,000 an hour to perform an attack on Ethereum Classic and $1.5 million an hour to perform an attack on Bitcoin at its current price. Now stick with me because this is without the updates and the upgrades Ethereum Classic has gone through. Now to prevent this whole 51% debacle back in October of 2020, Ethereum Classic ended up implementing MESS. Now what is MESS? MESS is a network security solution. It makes it 31 times more expensive to attack the chain than it currently is according to ETC Labs. Now a 3000 block reorganization protected by MESS would cost the attacker over $20 million and makes the amount of hash power required to pull off the 51% attack 
impossible to acquire through hash markets that you would find online. This is the hash provider that allows individuals to rent hash power. So as you can see, since October, there has been no talk about any sort of attack on Ethereum Classic, and it's because of this implementation here that has happened. Mess. Now, this isn't even discussing the rising in a hash rate that Ethereum Classic has received. If you've noticed, we are seeing 21 dashes per second on the network. When we received a 51% attack, it was under that 10 dashes per second on the network and that's because ethereum classic and the overall crypto market is getting pounded and a lot of miners are leaving china we're still above that 20 dashes per second on the network and it's only going to rise as time goes on now on top of this if you guys don't already know there is a upgrade coming the magneto upgrade which is set to be in july 21st which is only going to increase the network stability and security on the blockchain as well as reducing gas fees for transactions now that's another thing we have to talk about let's talk about transactions because people say it takes seven days to transfer a theorem classic it's not worth it it's super slow that's because you're transferring it on these exchanges that require theorem classic to go through 40,000 confirmations for an example on kraken because of the recent attacks that it has had to protect is investors to the maximum capability they require 40,000 confirmations for transactions which is six to seven days so it typically depends on the brokerages or exchanges but it doesn't necessarily mean it takes six days for each transaction one transaction for ethereum classic takes 15 seconds per block confirmation so depending on how safe you want to be with a transfer of ethereum classic you can wait for the block to confirm and miners to validate your transaction with more time and the longer you wait the safer your transaction pretty much is but as you can see here on blockscout.com every time you refresh it there's thousands if not hundreds of transaction confirmations confirmed and as you can see people are just waiting 11 seconds for five dollars 15 seconds 10 seconds for the current amount of money that you're transferring of course if you're transferring a million dollars of ethereum classic you're not going to wait for one confirmation to transfer that amount of money you're pretty much going to want to wait about an hour or two if not a day depending on how safe you want to be with that confirmation but the more confirmations that you receive the safer you will be in terms of transferring your money now let's talk about this whole double spending situation now the first and second attack that you saw on ethereum classic uh the hackers were able to spend to double spend over seven million dollars of ethereum classic and that's because the thief would send a copy of the currency transaction to make it look legitimate and they might erase the transaction altogether the most common method of double spending is when a blockchain thief will send multiple packets to the network reversing the transaction so that it looks like they never happened for an example in a real world case scenario if you're paying for coffee with a 20 dollars bill you can't just hand the cash your $20 and take it back from her and expect your transaction to be finished. But when it comes to cryptocurrency transactions, once you gain 51% control of the network, you're able to duplicate it and make it seem like you actually gave the transaction when you really didn't. So as long as you are the receiver of cryptocurrency and you don't accept unconfirmed transactions you don't have to worry about double spending attacks and that's not to say for the hodlers out there who are just sitting with coins in their wallet these hackers aren't breaking into your wallet and taking your coins while you're sleeping they're changing the transactions on the network to make it look like they're sending money when they're really not and receiving double so we talked about the mess implementation, we talked about the transaction times, and we talked about the Magneto hard fork that's coming in July. Now what else is Ethereum Classic doing to try to combat and make their blockchain the most secure blockchain out there? Now that's going to be with the SHA-3 implementation that they are currently working on. Now the code for SHA-3 is already done, they're currently just testing it out. And when it comes to implementing a new code on a blockchain, you have to have multiple months of testing in order to make sure it is perfected. 
Now, currently Ethereum Classic runs on the ETH code and the Keysack 256, otherwise known as SHA-3, is far more faster than ETH. It's much more efficient and it's simply a hashing algorithm that doesn't require hardware to have immense memory requirements, which means CPUs, ASICs, GPUs, FPGs could all mine on Kitchak 256. It's possible that the mining ecosystem could mature to be on par with Bitcoin, where mining is dominated by ASICs. Now, SHA-3 is the latest member of the Secure Hash Algorithm Family Standards and certified by the Federal Information Processing Standards, and ET Hash is not even a certified algorithm. So this will make Ethereum Classic truly official, and I believe with this implementation here onto the algorithm, Ethereum Classic could become the most secure blockchain out there. So there you have it with this little 51% attack scare or debacle breakdown. Be sure to share this video because there's a lot of lack of knowledge out there of Ethereum Classic because people believe it's just going to get attacked again. But ever since we had the mess implementation, nobody has even dared to try to attack Ethereum Classic because of how expensive it would be. So if you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to smash that like as it helps with the YouTube algorithm and subscribe. I'll be sure to catch you guys on the next update. Later. Yeah.